I'm Noel, a sex therapist. Um, this is a video about um, how therapeutic and beneficial music uh, can be for us. And indeed, there's a form of therapy called um, music therapy, which you can get, which is a very specific um, form of therapy to help um, with problems uh, that music can help with. Um, so I just want to imagine now, think about the sort of noisy environment that uh, we all live in. And uh, if you're in a city, for example, um, I think about the sort of underground, I live in London, or if you're on a train or a busy, any sort of busy form of public transport, busy public space, and the, the sort of noise uh, pollution, I suppose we would call it that. You're exposed to traffic, other people, somebody coughing, da 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 da, da. and then you go, and then you remember, ah, you've got your headphones, and you plug your headphones in to uh, listen to your music, and um, all of that goes away, and suddenly you're caught up in your music, and uh, how much better do you feel? I mean, you've just swapped one noise for another, isn't that interesting? It's one noise for another. Um, music is really interesting developmentally. It's a sort of um, we can appreciate music in the womb, um, and um, unlike many other things. So um, while your mother's carrying you in the womb, if she plays certain types of noises or sounds or music for you, you'll recognise them um, once you're born, which is fascinating, isn't it? Um, so music has a sort of very deep impact on us, I'm saying, sort of very early on in our development, we can pick up, pick up on it. So noise itself... It is very important as well. Um, if you're suffering from um, various disorders such as anxiety or depression, um, music and music therapy can um, be a real uh, life changer and game changer. Um, and um, it can be incredibly beneficial as, as something that you would do. Um, depression uh, sufferers can be helped to engage with life and be uplifted by um, thoughtful use of music, inspiring music, music that changes uh, emotional patterns within us. Um, and it does have a direct impact on our emotions. Um, so if you ever listen to some classical music, for example, and be moved to tears by it, um, and it's music, that's what it's doing to you. Or you can listen to your favourite music and really lift you up. Um, and it's a sort of non-medication-based approach to um, to moving your mood around, a very healthy way of moving your mood around if you're stuck in anxiety or depression. Um, and obviously music can be used in helping with things such as meditation, you know, guided meditation, etc. The British Association for Music Therapy says that um, regular therapeutic music sessions can help people connect and develop trusting relationships with others, provide a sense of well of belonging. Those who may receive music therapy include children or adults who learn difficulties, physical disabilities, emotional or behavioural problems. They may be the elderly, people with terminal illness or those suffering from a variety of mental health uh, problems. Um, so it has a, a wide applicability. And you can be sure when they say that, that there's uh, evidence behind the statement um, music therapy being one of the few sort of regulated um, psychotherapies in the UK, for example. Um, music therapy uh, in a sort of clinical sense needs to be uh, delivered by, by an appropriately qualified sort of uh, music therapist. So not just somebody who can play the guitar and says so they can make you feel good, but they have the appropriate qualifications. So just check out for that. They'll be regulated by the HCPC as well. Um, Music therapy programs are offered worldwide as part of um, treatment uh, programs for addiction, recovery, mental health programs, sort of recovery from mental illness, etc. Um, and it's very much embedded in many services now. It's very mainstream. Um, and um, there'll be links uh, on if you're watching this on the website to interviews I've done with um, various treatment centres around the world um, that use music and music therapy, so such as the Guest House and Cirque Lodge, etc. Um, and you don't really need to be convinced of it, I guess, if you know that you have um, your, your own favourite playlist, for example, of uh, songs that, um, that you have for different things. I do. I mean, I have a playlist of songs that I use for the gym, for example, that sort of motivate and inspire me. Um, and, and largely because the, my local gym, the music it plays, I really dislike. It doesn't work for me. It's not that it's bad music. It just doesn't do what I want it to do. And that's a very specific use, if you think of, of music, to inspire you to sort of work out and work out harder, which is interesting because it's only music. Yeah, it can have that 
sort of very deep impact on us. Um, so it, it, it's very interesting the way we automatically do this. Now, um, you know, devices that provide music to us, personal music to us, have become an integral part of our lives. Um, so just thinking about some of the ways in which you can use music yourself um, without needing to go to a specialist um, and get music therapy or a psychotherapist like me to help you think about it. Um, so we can help you find solace in crowded spaces, which is fantastic when you live in cities, for example example give you that sense of um, quietude and being connected with yourself without being overwhelmed by the stimulus and the noise uh, around you. Um, uh, we've created a little playlist for you to try out on your next commute so have a listen to it on the website um, and let us know what you think of it. Um, it's very good for meditation assistance. There's loads and loads of um, music playlists out there that you can Google, you can find on YouTube, etc., etc., uh, or Spotify. Um, people that have created sort of meditation mood music, it's often called. And you can try that, play it at home if you've been having a sort of stressful day. If you put on some of that meditation based mood music, and um, it'll be specifically designed to help you just sort of let go of the body tension, let go of the racing thoughts and the other signs that you're anxious and stressed. Um, music as well can be very, very helpful and you can do this for yourself in terms of um, getting some aid to sleep. And, and a lot of people do have problems with sleep. Um, and there are various ways you can do it. There's one option is called uh, by binaural beats I can never say that word and again there's a link on the website to that to have a look at that um, and we put a link on uh, other forms of um, relaxation uh, music that you might want to use again there's a link on the website so have a look at that um, and we all know that that we can find certain types of music that will help us drift off to sleep or certain sounds that help us drift off to sleep and um, we can get things such as the sound of waves etc um, or the sound of um, the countryside listening to um, birds tweet, etc. These things um, have an impact upon us in terms of our mental health and help us to relax and go off to sleep. Um, so those are just a few thoughts about how you might um, use music yourself. You can use some of those suggestions that... Uh, that we've got. I, I would also love to hear from you about what you think as well. What, to, How do you use music to sort of help you get through the day or get through the night? Um, how do you use music to help motivate you or how do you use music to help with uh, depression and anxiety, etc.? It would be great for you to share that with us and then we can share it with other people um, and then build a, you know, a community where people are helping each other. Um, do get in touch if you want to know more about this or other art forms that may be used um, and helpful for you in terms of your own personal growth or indeed treatment for sort of any sort of um, mental health issues that you might have. Really good of you to join me. Do get in touch. Um, all the details are on the website or you can call 07506 319 745 or email me info at noelmcdermott.net. I really, really would love to hear your thoughts on, on this subject because um, it's such an interesting one. And I think it's one in which um, a lot of us are expert because we we have our own music. We have a soundtrack to our lives, you know, um, and we've got music that that uh, helps us feel certain things. And it'd be great if you were to share that with us and um, sort of, you know, offer that as a resource to other people. So thanks for joining me on this. Um, do get in touch and um, hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.